Big NFL news all around this weekend. What's up, guys? This is your boy, Zach Zemillion here. And sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Been busy with some off-the-screen off the stuff, and I've just been really busy. So, But I have a NFL free agency video for you. It's on a Monday, coincidentally. Um, some notable players that got franchise tagged and notable players that left. And we'll talk about the biggest free agency domino leaving their respective team to give their second career life in a new uniform what it feels like. Notable franchise taggers, Dallas, I'll get to later on because I already know their whole situation. The Denver Broncos have officially placed the franchise tag on Demarius Thomas. Um... The Kansas City Chiefs placed the franchise tag on Justin Houston, who, in my opinion, has been one of the best sackers, one of the best sack linebackers in the league, or, you know, defensive, defensive tackles, defensive players. He's been one of the best sack, sack men in the league. Um, you can also put J.J. Watt in that conversation, but not to get off topic. And the Patriots placed the franchise tag on Steven Gostowski, their kicker. And some other notable mentions. Yesterday, the Patriots announced that they will keep Devin McCourty. Um, the the um, Dallas Cowboys, of course, had placed the franchise tag on Des Bryant. Um, I don't know if that's a good idea because, you know, we still have to deal with DeMarco Murray. Um, Tom Bahali for the Chiefs reconstructed his contract. Um, other notable ones, the biggest one in my opinion this year in the free agency market is Ndamukong Sue, the former Detroit Lion who... The Lions did not franchise tag over the past of the weekend, of the week and the course of the weekend. They did not franchise tag Nadamakan Sue. So, from all the, these reports I've been getting from like Chris Mortensen, Adam Schefter, and the NFL on ESPN on Twitter is telling me that Nadamakan Sue will be heading down to South Beach to join the Miami Dolphins. Now, I think the Dolphins got the biggest domino in the, in the free agency because they already had Olivier Vernon and Cameron Wake, and then they had Ndamukong Sue. I mean, it's going to be, it is going to get wild down there in Miami. Um, other notable free agents, um, Randall Cobb re-signed a four-year, $40 million deal to stay with the Green Bay Packers. Um, Lance Briggs decided that he did not want to come back to Chicago. Um, Buffalo traded for LaShawn McCoy. And, uh, the Jets traded for, um, Brandon Marshall. The, as mentioned, the Dolphins got an Adamican Sue. And the Patriots declined the option on Vince Wilfork. So, a lot's been going around. Now, when I mentioned about McCoy... And Marshall, that's telling you that McCoy and Marshall, they were still in their contract with their respective teams, but they were still under the trade clause, which means that they could have been traded if the team desired. Now, I think that's a great pick for the Jets. I think the Jets got the better end of the deal, and McCoy as well as Eagles fans, are just absolutely livid with this trade. I mean, trust me, EDP, Eat That Pussy 445, I've seen your reaction, and I know what it's like to lose a, a big player from a team. I know what it's like. It, it hurts. Um, and then, and then, I mean, EDP's got to be even more frustrated that um, the Eagles decided to not give Jeremy Macklin the $2 million more that he wanted. And now Jeremy Macklin looks to reunite with Andy Reid out in Kansas City. 
I think that's a big, big domino that Kansas City got in getting Jeremy Macklin. Um, I think that's a huge player that they got. And then you know what also news I found out is Reggie Wayne, the longtime Colt, he's not coming back to the Indianapolis Colts. I'm like, why? I'm like, he's one of the greatest players in the history of the game. He's one of the best players to ever wear the horseshoe on his helmet. And then you decide to not re-sign him? I mean, that makes no sense. But Eagles fans, also, don't be, don't be sad because you lost McCoy and uh, Macklin. Because they also got two huge dominoes as well. They got Byron Maxwell, the free safety from uh, the Legion of Boom from the Seahawks. And then they got Frank Gore from the San Francisco 49ers. And then the 40, other news from the 49ers, San Francisco made it official that defensive end Justin Smith and lot Pro Bowl linebacker, five-time Pro Bowl linebacker Patrick Willis just announced their retirements from the team and from the league. And I think I think San Francisco's done. I think they're I think they're they're not going to amount to nothing this upcoming year or in the near future. So I think if I were the 49ers, I would go for a running back in the draft, like you know Todd Gurley or Melvin Gordon or who's that other? I think no, I don't think that one from Oklahoma is going in the draft. So. I changed my mind. What's that guy? Uh, that Duke Johnson guy from Miami. I think they should go for him. Um, I heard Dallas signed former Buffalo Bill linebacker Keith Rivers. I mean, that might be huge. I mean, Rivers had a pretty solid year for the Bills. Um, speaking of the Bills, they also picked up Matt Castle from the Vikings. Because, I mean, the Vikings already made it clearly obvious that they don't want him back anyway. And, you know, they already got Teddy Bridgewater. So, um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's a huge free agency news around there for you. Um, I think the fact the Lions didn't franchise tag Nadama Kinsu was a big mistake. I think... You know, had they signed Nadamakin Sue, I think they would have at least given him over $100 million. But I don't know if he would have taken it. But he, he's definitely going to go with the, the Miami Dolphins because of the money they're going to be offering him. And, you know, I mean, that, that just happens. It's money talks. And, you know, other news I heard. Jacksonville is looking to sign Julius Thomas the tight end from the Denver Broncos looking to go to Jacksonville. I'm like, why would you leave? Why would you leave one of the, the best quarterbacks in the game in Peyton Manning to go to fucking Jacksonville? I mean, Jacksonville? What? I mean, that's about as confusing as sending LaShawn McCoy to the Bills. I still don't get that, though, but... Another thing when it comes to the Eagles, I am heavenly disappointed in Jeffrey Lurie that he couldn't have coughed up two more million dollars, two million dollars more for a player that came off a torn ACL in 2013 and then in 2014 he put up 1,318 yards and 10 touchdowns. And I'm going to say this much, he worked hard. He worked hard this past year, did Jeremy Macklin. Macklin worked hard to get back into shape because we all know an ACL tear is a very hard injury to overcome. But the fact they didn't, they didn't give him the more money after he worked hard for it this year. He worked his ass off with a shit quarterback in Mark Sanchez and a decent quarterback in Nick Foles and they didn't re-sign him. Or they didn't, you know, give him that $2 million more that Macklin wanted. In my opinion, it's about posture. And I think Jeffrey Lurie and Chip Kelly didn't want to be shown as cowards 
towards Jeremy Macklin and letting Macklin get what he wants. But um, but yeah, I, I feel like with the recent moves of the Eagles sending LaShawn McCoy to Philly, uh, from Philly to Buffalo and then losing Macklin to Kansas City. I think that's really given Dallas 50% of the, uh, like, okay, I'll give them, I'll give them at least 45% of the votes. We'll say they'll probably win the division next year. The other 45, I'll give to the Giants. And then the five and the five, I'll each give to the Eagles and the Redskins. That's how I look at it this year. I think after the Eagles lost two stud players in McCoy and Macklin, I think they're really done. I I think despite getting Frank Gore and despite getting Byron Maxwell, I still don't think they'll they'll mount this year. I mean, at most, if I had to guess, maybe they'll get a wild card, but they won't win the division. And... The only other team I see beating my guys out is probably the New York Giants. The Giants are probably the best team to beat us. But, um, and, and the Packers. It's the same with the Packers. After the Packers, or after the Bears traded Brandon Marshall to the Jets, they announced that their, their Pro Bowler Lance Briggs will not return. Lance Briggs will head on to a new team. And then Detroit sent Ndamukong Sue to Miami because they didn't franchise tag him. So Ndamukong Sue's most likely going to go down to South Beach and join the Dolphins. And I think the Packers, I think that's, I thought after Ndamukong Sue signed with the Dolphins, I'm like, that's it. Packers are a crapshoot. They're going to win their division. And I think it's the same with my guys. I think the Cowboys are just going to run all over the NFC East again. And I think they'll win the division too. But yeah, that's it for NFC or from for NFL Free Agency Monday. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll get back to your comments and get back to your requests as soon as I can. Thank you.